Now, a few issues you can run into is, as I mentioned, groups don't necessarily copy between projects and drawings the easiest. Uh, you can also pretty easily accidentally split them up or ungroup or explode them, and then you're kind of lost and left without it because it's not saved within your drawing like a block. You can always reinsert a block that you have exploded because it doesn't remove or break up the actual definition of the block. Those are always going to be in your insert menu here unless you remove them from the drawing specifically. But if you delete or explode any individual block, you can always reinsert that block and get it back the way it was. The other easy thing or great thing about blocks is they are super easy to update in large instances. So if you've got a hundred versions of this computer block here, editing one of them is going to update every single one, whereas a group is simply a group of those specific objects. Editing one is not going to affect the others, and editing any one of them is having no effect on the subsequent ones. You're simply copying that specific group of objects. Another great reason to use blocks would be if you want any of those custom abilities like rotation or scale or text attributes. Those are only possible within a block. While it, blocks are going to take you quite a bit more time to set up using the block editor and making changes are a little more cumbersome and time consuming having to go in and out of the block editor each time you want to change them. You will save time over the long run because those blocks are going to be updated regardless. So if you've got a hundred or two versions of your block, updating them once is going to update them all. This is a great time saver. 